All right, welcome to the third video on R. Um, so in this video, we, we are going to cover four things. How to run simple linear regression in R, and then how can we extend that to run multiple linear regression in R. Uh, and then the third thing we are going to learn about is how to deal with interaction terms and how to add interaction terms to our model. And finally, how to, inter how to add nonlinear uh, predictors to our model. So let's go ahead and start with simple linear regression. First of all, we need a data set. Uh, the data set we are going to be using is the Boston data set that we discussed in class. And that data set is part of the mass library. So we probably need to load this library and call Boston. So I'm going to attach Boston data to our session here so we can call its variable. Let's see what's in our Boston data. Names of Boston, this is a function that gives you the name of the variables that are in the Boston data frame or the Boston data set. So first of all let's run a, uh, let's say that you want to predict uh, a medium value of the house in Boston from uh, maybe LSTAT. So this is going to be simple linear regression. And this um, and uh, the results of this simple simple linear regression, I'm going to save it in lm.fit. You can choose any name you want. Uh, and then we are going to we are using the lm function, which is part of the R uh, package, uh, and that function does linear uh, models for you, or um, in this case, we're going to use it to do simple linear regression. So what we are trying to predict, we are trying to predict median value for the house from um, LSTAT. So this is the formula for um, simple linear regression. We run that. Now, in order to check what's inside or what's saved inside, the lm.fit variable that's called summary lm.fit and then here in the output it gives you um, what are the estimated b0 and b1 and whether they are significant or not uh, oops. Uh, and then it also gives you the r squared in this in this case when we ran simple linear regression r squared was 54%. So it's fine it's it's good it's good model but we can still of course add you know use more variables to um uh, to increase our r squared. Now before we jump into multiple linear regression model let's uh, let's try to uh, to see uh, the diagnostics uh, plots for uh, our regression model. So let's plot the linear regression fit model so it's the same um, model we saved here we are going to plot it and then you will see that in our console it tells you hit return to see the next plot so it's apparently more than one plot so if we hit return here it first gives you the residual versus the fitted value we can see that there's some curvature here so this is probably not a good linear model we we need to uh, we need to further investigate what's happening. Um, it can also gives you the normality plot, uh, and of course, in this case, we can see that it's not. You know, there's some divergence from normality here. Uh, um, it can gives you the standardized residuals versus the fitted values, and finally the leverage plot. Um, Okay, so this is mainly what we uh, for the plot. Now, if you want to do a scatter plot just for uh, to see what's you know the relationship between a median value and the LSTAT, so we can just say plot, and then the x variable in this case goes to the x axis, so LSTAT is our x variable, and the y variable is median value, and if you plot that, that gives you a scatter plot here. Of course, we can add a title to it. So main equal scatter plot and then x lab equal to lstat uh, y lab equal to uh, medium value. All right. In addition to that, we can add the line that's been fitted by this linear model by using the abline command 
or the outline outline function because this outline function here usually we use it to put a line on top of a graph here if we give the argument the linear uh, the lm dot fit it should put the line on top the regression line on top of this scatter plot now of course we can be fancy and change the color of it and say color equal to red now it's red we can also add to the width of it and make the width of the line l i think it's lwd equal maybe to six we can increase the width of the line all right so that's for simple linear regression for multiple linear regression um usually uh, you know what we would like to see maybe a um like the scatter plot matrix for all of the variables so we can see pairs of Boston data set and that should give you the scatter plot matrix apparently there's too many variables you know and in order to be able to see better probably we should reduce the number of variables or try to look at the ones that we are mainly interested in so for example instead of saying pairs Boston you probably would say um, pairs and maybe you specify what variables you are uh, interested so uh, maybe Boston I'm interested in the first variable third variable and seventh variable uh, oh we have to specify this as a vector and all right so here it gives you a scatter uh, plot matrix for three variables. Um, all right, so that's for the pairs function. Now let's try to run multiple linear regression. Uh, let's call it lm.fit and I'm call it I'm gonna call it model two. Again, we're gonna use the same function lm because it does linear models. And in this function, we are gonna specify what's our y value a variable by saying it's medium value because we are trying to predict this value uh, from uh, whatever variables uh, we are interested in. So let's say we are interested in variable stat and maybe another variable, let's say age of the house, for example. Now let's run another uh, linear model. Uh, let's say summary lm.fit2. And if we run that, we can see here that the uh, coefficients for this linear model for L stat and age are both of them are uh, statistically significant and our R squared has increased from 54% to 55% when we added one more variable. Now of course we can you know fit our model for using all of the variables so let's say lm dot fit 3 equals lm uh, one way of doing that is by specifying the uh, value variable, our y variable, and then by the dot sign dot uh, dot, uh, we can say that you know we want to use all of our variables in our model. But now to hear that we would like we we should actually specify the name of the data set because in this case we did not specify the variables, so it's not gonna know what variables we're talking about. And then we run it, we run summary for that model lm.fit3 and again it gives you all of the variables at the same time. Our R squared is down 74% so it's perfect, it's, it's really high. Now note some of the variables are non-significant so we might you know need to do further investigation but in this in this uh, in this video I'm just teaching you how to write the code for these things. Um, you can also, um, you know, run, for example, let's say you don't want to run, uh, maybe you want to exclude age from your model. So let's call it four. And here, after the dot, we can subtract age from our model. And of course, you can subtract more, uh, more variables. But let's say we want to subtract age and then we run it. So it runs a model, but without age. As a variable. Now, for the interaction terms, um, suppose we would like to see if there's an interaction 
between LSTAT and A. So let's fit a model LM fit 5. LM, again, we're going to use the same function, lin uh, a linear model LM, medium value. And then uh, we are going to specify LSTAT multiplied or star um, H. That, if you run summary of lm.fit5, that should give you the regression coefficient or the estimations uh, for these, uh, the coefficient of each variable separately, lstat and h, and then the interaction between these two using this notation lstat uh, column uh, h. If you just want to see the interaction it's by itself without the variable, so lm.fit6 equal to lm and then median value and then suppose that we want to just see the interaction term if it's significant or not or maybe we would like since here age is not significant we just want to add lstat and the interaction so we can say lstat plus the interaction between lstat and age now this model is not going to include age but it's going to include the interaction between lstat and age and now if you see the summary for that that's lm.fit6 it added lstat and the interaction between these two terms and r squared in this case is approximately 55 percent and finally for adding nonlinear transformations of predictors notice that at the beginning when we ran the scatter plot, when we plotted, when we had the scatter plot uh, between LSTAT and um, medium value, let me run it again. We can see that there's curvature here. Even during when we were looking at the diagnostic plot, diagnostic plots for regression, we saw that there's non-linear relationship between LSTAT and medium value. So there was there's probably uh, maybe of you know a degree two or degree three let's or, or four and and maybe let's see what happens here um let's say that we want to add a polynomial to our uh, model so lm dot fit now we are at the seventh model we would like to see the linear model for predicting medium value from since we would like to add, let's say, the second a second degree polynomial, we are going to use the function poly and then specify the variable lstat. Now what happens, it's going to use lstat and lstat squared in order to predict medium value. And then if you look at summary of lm.fit7, it added... Uh, Oh, here, oh, sorry, we have to also add to poly, uh, we have to also add the degree of the polynomial. In this case, it took the, um, um, you know, by, by, by default it was 1, so it just showed LSTAT, but we can say 2. Now we do that, it will add uh, LSTAT raised to first power and then LSTAT raised to second power. We can see that both of them are highly statistically significant and um, uh, the uh, R squared is also high. If you keep increasing this, let's say um, maybe 3, again, to the third degree it's still significant. Let's see to the fourth. Again, all of them are significant. Fifth, So fifth is still significant, let's say six. We started seeing that after the fifth polynomial or fifth degree polynomial, um, uh, we can see that this uh, LSTAT to the six is not significant, so we can stop here and conclude that this should be our model. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's it for this video. Um, good luck.